it's me, Mushy, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for a small-ish uh, Raven Diamond Art Haul, including two AB kits and one sneak peek. I bet you guys haven't seen before. So come on, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so as some of you may know, last week my daughter uh, decided to go rogue and place a Raven Diamond art order, and uh, it came, and there was a couple surprises in there for us, and we'll get to that in a minute, but I'm here I am digging around, because I'm so organized. I wanted to show you what Al got. So the first one she got was this Mama Jamma here. It's a 50 by 60. And it is, if I can show it to you, ah, it's history. It's the little troll guy in the forest reading a book. Let's crack it open and take a look. All right, so here it is out of the box. We can open it up and take a look, see at what we have. Now this canvas is one of the uh, normal canvases in that it is not a B, it is just a standard canvas it's with no special drills. It is a 50 by 60 and here it is. I'm using the drills here to kind of help me keep it uh, open here. I didn't back roll it like a good, a good reviewer should, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm feeling lazy today, sue me. Uh, this one has 47 colors, you guys, 47. And here we have our subject matter here. Troll uh, is reading a book with a forest background. Let's see our tables here. We do have a thumbnail at the top. We have two tables, one on each side, and it is the one, two, three, A, B, C, and our go-to symbols on the side love to see it and um looks like it has just a really kind of muted color palette which you know me i like to see and what comes in a raven diamond art kit aside from the canvas itself is a deluxe tool kit a goodie bag an inventory sheet and some baggied drills so we'll get all we'll get into all this here in a minute Let's just take a look. I'm gonna show you one. If anything um, extra happens to be lurking about, worth noting, I will show you that. But just know that when I say this came with its deluxe tool kit, it is this same type of kit. What makes this kit deluxe? Well, to me, it, what makes it deluxe is, well, we do get the pen, a standard diamond painting pen, but it's a, sometimes a fun color. Sometimes it's clear with sparkles. This time we got purple. It does come with a squishy, which is a little deluxe addition. Can, can Mushy do it? Can lightning strike twice in a one year? I did! Yay, look! <laughs> I... I struggle getting squishies on these pens, you guys. Uh, so this is like a major feat right here. Um, we do get a multi-placer that goes in the end of our pen, which is something that we don't often get in, in other companies' kits. We do get some ba -ba, murder tweezers. Look at those sharp, look at the sharp point, you guys. You, they're called murder tweezers because you can murder your finger, you can, yeah. Can, can you do some serious damage with that then we got two heart-shaped pads of wax and a little boat of life this one happens to be purple and a very long pour spout i love these standard trays normally what you would get from a company in a kit would be um and what i why i call this deluxe is because I just tried to hurt myself with the murder tweezers. Nobody saw that, right? Okay. Um, is because what you would normally get is your diamond painting pen here and a boat, usually not this fancy. Uh, it's usually one of those little green boats with no pour spout and a pad of wax. 
that's kind of what you would get. They give us extra wax. They give us a finger nubbin squishy to protect our finger nubbin, which is like that part right there. That gets all, you know, this nubbin that gets, I don't know, irritated with too much diamond painting. Um, then we do get some funky color options with our, our accessories here, our tools, and they do give us the uh, murder tweezers. So that's kind of what makes it deluxe for me is we get the extra additives there, which I love to see. Thank you very much. And then we get this little goodie bag and you guys know me, I'm all about the goodie bags. I got, I got to see what's inside. Historically, we do get um, some stickers and some other little goodies, and it looks like we're not going to get disappointed this time. Um, we have a pin hugger, which is, if you can see this little you know, ring here, that goes over the diamond painting pin. You can slide it down, and it just decorates your diamond painting pin, gives you something to look at. And here's the one that we got for this. To me, this looks like it might be one of those, like, Skin books, you know what I mean? The books with the skin cover. Ugh. And considering the troll's reading a book, I'm gonna guess it's the skin book he's reading. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we have a poison apple straw topper. So how this works is you put this part here on your straw, and then it has a cap situation. So you take your drink and you want to protect the mouthpiece of your straw, you just boop. Put it on there like that. When you're ready to drink, you take the poison apple off, take a sip, put it back. So that's really unique and thoughtful. Really like those. I often turn some of these into cover minders uh, because, it, you know, if it's something that's really cute and I really like, I do turn these into cover minders. And then we get our stickers. So let's see what stickers we've got. Oh, look at that one. I really like that one. Definitely skeleton vibes, gothy vibes. And then we have a witchy situation. And she's got a skull with her. Oh, this one looks fun. I have, or I only have eyes for you. Oh, and they're <laughs> handing you some eyes. <laughs> I like that. I like the attitude of that one and like the, the dark humor. And then we have Galaxy Alien Queen's Raven Diamond Art sticker here. Love that. And then we have, oh, look at that beautiful gothic imagery there too. That rose there. Man, that's really pretty. I'm loving that. Some awesome stickers. It's not your run-of-the-mill stickers. And we do have a business card. I'll hold the QR code up if you need to snippy snap it. There you go. That'll take you directly to Raven Diamond Art's website. Socials are listed down below. You can find them at Raven Diamond Art on all socials. And a message from the owner of Raven Diamond Art. Do not fear your creative side. A quote from Cuckoo Kimmy herself. And these gifts come in these little mesh bags with spiders and spider webs on them. Always super fun. What else comes in a Raven Diamond Art Kit? If you're unfamiliar with the inventory sheet, and here is ours for this painting, you guys. It is a paper sheet. Um, and right here you get a larger than average thumbnail of what the picture is going to look like. Let me show you. This is the canvas that we have on the table now. The troll in the forest reading his skin book in a beautiful, calm, serene setting. My daughter Leah is an author and she loves cryptids and, um, you know, nature stuff like this. So when she saw this, uh, when I saw this, I knew she was going to want it. And then when she saw it, it, yeah, it ended up at our house. <laughs> I knew this one was coming because I know my child. Um, but yeah, you can cut this out and run it through a Xyron sticker maker and make a sticker for your log book or however you could tape it in a log book, however you, you like to do it. I use the Xyron and make stickers, decorations out of them. And I do the same thing with the table. But here is our table here. It gives you the number of drills, which I said is 47 colors and their symbols and the DMC number. So any which way you kit up, you will be able to um, 
you know, kit up that way, whether it's by symbol, by the number, by the DMC number. Um, this one here, I'm a little concerned. I want to look at the canvas in a minute and find number six because that's a dark number on a dark uh, background. That one's a little concerning. And so is maybe num uh, number G. Well, there we go. So is maybe letter G. Um, we do have an O and a Q in here, which we'll have to take a look at because they have similar backgrounds and see if they're like, if we can find anywhere they're close together, if they're going to be problematic. Now we're getting down into our symbols here. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, there's our little hurdle there, our U-turn, our hourglass, hazard, hashtag. But yeah, that's that's our color story and our DMC list, an inventory sheet. Let's take a look at these drills. Now Raven Diamond Art does put the drills, um, they put them in little baggies considered pre-kitted. So if you do work out of baggies, it's already kitted up for you, which is nice. Each baggie has the weight of the drills, the number as it corresponds to color number on the table, and its DMC code. And each sleeve comes with the serial number. So if you need to store your drills separate, you can, and never fear, you'll be able to identify, you know, which diamond painting this sleeve goes with because it has the serial number here, which matches what's on the canvas and also on the box. So no matter which way you store your diamond paintings, they got you covered with the information you need to store it any which way. Um, but here's our color story here. We've got gray and pink, some dark blues, some br brown, beiges, peaches. I mean, we are really running the gambit of some like natural colors, things that you'd find out in nature and the setting that makes sense for the diamond painting canvas and subject. This is also one of my favorite color palettes of life. Um, I need an eyeshadow palette made out of these colors, please and thank you. <laughs> this would be my spring palette. But yes, uh, very, very nice. And these are round drills, 100% high grade acrylic drills. And uh, yeah, there's our canvas. So let's take a look. I wanted to look at some of those, um, those specific numbers and letters just to see, am I scared for no reason? Let us see. I do see some Q's over here. I'm not seeing any O's in the neighborhood though. Yes, I am. Q's and O's right there together. So, oh, sorry. So, sorry about that, guys. I just smacked you in the face with the canvas. <laughs> um, so, Q and O. There is an obvious difference between the two. So, that should not be a problem. I am relieved about that. It's a little concerning on the table, um, but on the canvas it is not concerning, at least not to me. Just be, you know, cognizant of that and now we're looking for and i see it that six that i was a little worried about it was like a dark color on a dark background and there it is you guys uh right there that's a little difficult to see it is pretty close to a g but they are very different symbols so nothing to really worry about there in my opinion i am a little concerned about this but i do use um a light board and so i think with backlighting we should be fine it does look like we have some significant color blocking here, some here, uh, some through here. There is portions of color blocking, but there is also a bunch of confetti as well. It seems to be a pretty equal balance to me, what I'm seeing here in person. Um, sorry about the glare, you guys, but yeah, this one doesn't seem to be too heavy leaning one way or another. Good balance. So there's our first canvas, you guys. What do you think? Now, this will not be going in my inventory as this is my daughter's purchase. And um, I do not claim her inventory as my own. I'm just showing you what got, you know, through the threshold of our door. Let's see what else we got. All right, you guys, and the next one that Al got, she got this 40 by 50. Are we ready to see what it is? 
squeeze it under here. Ah, face off. It's the Freddy with Jason's mask. Yes. So let's get this out of the box and take a look. All right. And yes, although, um, you know, this is a purchase by Leah. She was thoughtful. She thought of mommy. She knew that when uh, there was a Freddy and or Jason situation, she thought of mom. And I really appreciate it. So this one will be going in my inventory. Uh, like I said, this is a 40 by 50. And with as with all other canvases, it is a round drill. This is part of the standard 100% high grade acrylic drills that uh, do not include any specials. As you may know, they have been having some AB kits come out. This is not one of them. This is a regular drill kit. And as usual, we get all the normal stuff. We get our tool kit, which is the same as what I've shown you before, our goodie bag, our sleeve of drills, and our inventory sheet. So let's take a look at our inventory sheet. So we kind of know what we're looking at here. There's our thumbnail, and that is Freddy. He's got Jason's mask. Something tells me Jason's not feeling real good right now, and it looks like Freddy's about to put it on, doesn't it? Um, that might be look a little strange, <laughs> but, and I don't really know that I'd want to put Jason's mask on my face, uh, <laughs> but you know, you do you, Freddy. And here is our table. And I'll run this, like I said, through the Xyron sticker maker. And when I kit this up, this is how I will use these exact, you know, this exact piece of paper converted into stickers on my containers. So that's what the diamond painting should look like when it's done. This is 39 colors and it is an ABC 123 and standard symbol format. We do get a goodie bag here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I have the I have something coveted by many. So this bag actually has skulls on it. It is another mesh bag with some silver chromey skulls on it. But you guys, I know a lot of you are um, Raven Diamond Art fans have been loving these. We got a little like Freddy, little kind of Lego esque dude. It's called W M Blocks. But, you know, it's a little assemblable little figurine. So that's pretty cool. And along with that, we got our business card and we do have our sticker. So there we get the Raven Diamond Art sticker. And then what else do we have in here? Oh, Jason. Jason before he lost his mask to Freddy. And we have Jason's mask. It came off. It came off. Freddy won. Here's the moment. <laughs> And then we have the, ooh, hey, is that, my, is that my horror hubby? Did somebody stick a knife in my horror hubby's eyes? I love this sticker, but I also don't, this makes me very sad and hurts my heart. Please don't do that again. Okay, and then we have Jeepers Creepers. Look at that. Yeah, what's eating you? <laughs> very cool stickers. Really like these. And I dropped one. And uh, yay, we had a little figurine to do and decorate our crafting space with. So that's really fun. And then we get our sleeve of drills. Let's take a look, see at the color story. So here are our colors, you guys. There it is again, RR. <laughs> here are our colors. Enunciate mushy. We've got like a wide range of stuff. We've got some like dark burgundies. We've got some browns, maroons, bright red, cream, dark brown, dark blue, orange, reds, purple. Some crazy colors in here. Exciting. Yep. And there you go. One of the things I really like, because I use Elizabeth Ward style, the classify kits from um, Timu, and it helps me a lot to know the weight of the drills, because that's how I can kind of judge which container, which size of container I'm going to need based on weight. So having the weight of the drills in the baggies is super helpful for me when kitting up. So I really kind of really appreciate that feature. And here's our canvas, you guys. Take a closer look. 
and show you our thumbnail. It has the serial number on it and the size, the thumbnail, and then we get to see our colors and symbols right there. And as you can see, one, two, three, A, B, C, then our tried and true symbols right down here. We'll take a look at the drill field, kind of see. As usual, very clear, you guys, a very clear. This S is a little concerning because it is dark on dark, but um, is that an S? No, five, I'm sorry. See, yeah, I am looking through the lens thing. That five is a little concerning because it is dark on dark, but I'm sure it should be fine through a light board backlighting. Um, this is kind of a darker symbol on a darker background, but I don't foresee that being as much of a problem. Again, um, you know, if you use a light board, a lot of these problems or concerns go away. It gets lit up. I've not had a problem yet with a Raven canvas not being completely clear, especially with backlighting. I'm seeing here, I did see some color blocking through here, through the background, uh, but we're starting to get into some Confettiville. There's a little bit of confetti, but also a bunch of color blocking. So again, another canvas that seems like it might be a rev relatively good balance between color blocking and confetti which is fine I like a little bit of both that confetti is what gives us our dimension our depth our detail in our diamond paintings that's part of what makes Raven Diamond art diamond paintings so fun and popular you know because they come out looking so good because there is all you know of this detail and dimension added to it when it's done so and that's done by virtue of having a little bit of confetti in there. So yes, again, 39 colors. And here was our canvas, nice clear canvas um, with a pretty decent, I would, I would call this like maybe a, you know, 60, 40 split between some color blocking areas and some confetti areas. Nothing too wonky. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, you guys. Now, this one is the first AB, and we have seen this. This was on the releases last week, and it is a 40 by 50 by the name of Game Time with our friend Jigsaw. So let's get this out of the box and take a look. All right, and here is our Jigsaw canvas called Game Time. And, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm reminded of the first time I opened a Raven Diamond art painting um, haul situation. And I was looking and I'm like, you know, oh my gosh, what did I do? Because, like, there's one predominant color here and there's one predominant color here and then a background. Like, this only looks like three or four colors. But, you guys, this is 33. 33 colors. And it is an AB kit. And in case you're curious... Everything that comes in a regular kit also comes in an AB kit. So you do get your deluxe toolkit, you get a goodie bag, you get your inventory sheet, and you get your pre-kitted baggied drills. So nothing really changes about that aspect. Um, we do same toolkit here. And you know me, you guys, I've been really good at saving the goodie bag for like last or not first, but I can't. <laughs> I need in this goodie bag. We do have our Raven Diamond Art business card right here and our stickers. And look, there's a lanyard, you guys. It has jigsaw on it. It says, want to play a game? How cool is that? I love this. I'm, I'm kind of getting quite the collection of Raven Diamond Art lanyards and I'm here for it, you guys. And we also get some stickers and I love how most of the time, all of the time really, as far as I've noticed, I don't think there's really been a time where the stickers haven't matched the theme of the painting they come with, which is really amazing that they take the time to match the goodie bag items with the actual canvas that you're getting. Um, as you can see here, we do have <laughs> look at a jigsaw um, you know, sticker here with a little 
hand saw and then or is that a bone saw what kind of saw is that i'm not a toolie person and i don't feel like asking sundown he probably would know though uh, then we have a jigsaw puzzle piece with jigsaw on it that's super cool and we have a skeleton riding a bike like that and then of course we have raven diamond art logo here and this kind of witchy we've had this one before al steals them from me this is the you know flower with the triangle in the back kind of gives witchy maybe pagan vibes which is super cool we'll see those very soon in a happy fun sticker time black and red spider web mesh bag and we do get our inventory sheet so here's where we're gonna start noticing some differences you guys so let's take a look this is our thumbnail here this is what our concept uh the concept art is and what our painting should look like when it's finished it's the same kind of thing same size and everything we cut it out and here is our color list and table this is how uh, um, at first glance you can tell if you're not sure that this is an a b kit your first indicator is that this is not the same table as a regular raven diamond art kit normally these would be one two three you know down to eight and then a b c d through the alphabet and then start in with some more of the regular symbols that we are used to seeing with a b kits we get things a little bit different uh, as you can see, we start off with some symbols, then there are some letters mixed in, and then we get some new to us symbols that we don't normally see out of Raven Diamond Art kits prior to the AB releases. So some interesting and fun symbols here. And the symbol table list is considerably bigger in size and interesting and new change that we noticed last time when we looked at heartbeat and then they indicate their ABs at the bottom of the list with AB and then the DMC. So AB 666 and AB 947. I am a little concerned about having some of these darker colors with a darker symbol on them. We see that with the F and the 8. There this is here with a the lowercase a. And I did see another one up here that I thought maybe, maybe not uh, this U-turn. We'll have to look on the canvas and see. So we'll take a look at our AB drills and we'll see where they are on the canvas. And we'll take a look at some of these more questionable symbols and see if they're going to look problematic. Let's take a look. So when I open up the packet, now these drills usually are packaged in number order and again, same same thing they're all you know from the lowest number to the highest in order for us so our two ab's are at the end and here they are so ab 947 is kind of an orange an orangey ab and then this 666 we know is like a bright red ab there they are and those were symbols number F and eight. So we'll have to look on the canvas for those. I'm gonna put those in nice and neat so I don't get discombobulated later on when I go to kit it up. And let's take a look while we have it here at our color story before we dive into the canvas. So we do have some browns and creams. Oh, we have a interloper. <laughs> we have a, a, an interloper right there. Um, looks like purples and maroons, peach, a little bit of pink, and some other variations of red are in here. There's another red there. So there's our color story. All those colors going into what looks to be a pretty simplistic, it looks like black, cream, red, done. And, you know, but no, there are so many more colors involved in this. So let's take a look at the canvas and look for the clarity of symbols and the legibility of our symbols here. And keep in mind, I'm, I literally have the canvas about an inch from the camera lens. So here's some of the ones that maybe I was concerned about. Those don't look like they're going to be a problem. The ones on the red. Um, that... 
that one's kind of hard to see. Is that our, is that going to be our lowercase a? Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, this literally, I mean, I'm, le I'm an inch, less than an inch from the camera so that you can see it. But as we get further, it becomes harder to tell what that is, you know? Um, that's a little concerning, but we don't really know until we get a backlight behind it. The K is a little dark too, as is the G. That A, that lowercase A makes me nervous. Um, there is some color blocking here, as you can see, but also a little bit of confetti, even in the background. That's There's quite a bit up here. It's interesting. I, would I can't wait to see how that's going to turn out. Um, there's our F. So we've got some F right here, which was one of our AB. That was our 666. So we're looking for Fs and 8s. And there's F and 8 together. So our ABs are going to be there and sprinkled in the background. I'm going to guess maybe is just emphasizing a little bit of blood splatter, perhaps. Are there going to be any in the eyes? I do see some 8s here in the eyes and F's. So, yep, his eyes are going to be done with the ABs. Just not completely AB'd out, just some accent. Also accented in his little face nubbins here, cheek nubbins. I'm going to guess the lips as well. F and 8, yep. And are we going to get it in his little you know, bow tie situation, F and 8. Yeah, so that is where our ABs are going to lie. They're going to be here. They're going to be a little bit in this background here. They're going to be on his cheek nubbins, his ac accentuating his lips, and his little, like, bow things he situation here. We do have some significant color blocking through here, but the background, uh, some color blocking down in here, but the outer portion is... Um, definitely some confetti so this looks like a pretty even balance of that as well now I did notice and you may have to and I'll get the inventory sheet for this there's a lot of symbols and we don't have any not any there's a couple numbers I see two we have like three and five and eight I see three and four okay I see four and every time I say I see uh, three two one I see more but no there's um we got eight, five, four, three. That's four numbers. And we have a sprinkling of letters and then we have symbols mixed in. For those of you who are used to the regular Raven Diamond Art table being one, two, three, A, B, C, simple symbol after simple, a simple symbol, you are going to be, um, you know, getting something a little bit different here. Just be alert and wary of that. You gotta kind of really like symbols to like this. And um, I'm the kind that what I've been doing is with something like this is once I kit it all up, I'll take my containers and organize it into, I'll, I'll put the numbers together. I'll put the letters in alphabetical, what letters we do get. And then the symbols, I kind of group them into families. So I'll do like anything that's arrow familyed, I'll put the arrows together. Anything that's math symbol, I'll put math symbols together. Um, anything that's sticks or stick like I'll put together anything that's circular in nature I'll put together and just do it in family groups like that there's many ways to kit up and no wrong way to do it but if you need a suggestion for a table list like this there's one for you so yeah you guys that's another example of an AB kit the first one we saw on this channel was heartbeat and um, it did have the same sort of table and some of the richer, darker colors on the canvas. Uh, and it looks like this is following suit. And we've got one more painting to look at. Let's see what that is. Okay, you guys, and the final one we got. Here it is. This might be the most interesting to a lot of you because it is a sneak peek of a future release. Now, I did look at April's titles, our little sneak peek at the titles of things that are coming out in April. And unless Mama Raven's pulling a fast one on us, this one was not listed in the titles given for April releases. So 
I am not saying this won't be a surprise release in April, but it doesn't appear to be an April release. So we may be looking more towards summer or beyond for this one, you guys. I'm not sure. I don't know. But I didn't see it on the, the sneaker peeker list. So um, are you ready? I know there's going to be a lot of super fans of this one. Let's see if I can get it squeezed under here. This one's called Jungle Warrior. You guys, we have a Predator and bonus, it's an AB kit. So for those of you who are looking for AB kits and enjoying that situation, and the AB kits that I've seen so far have been pretty rich and vibrant colors. This one seems to be a pastel -y sort of, we get a more, a more muted AB situation. And I'm interested in seeing if that is impacted on the canvas because with some of the other AB kits that we've been seeing have had a lot of like red and black in them or green and some of those richer, darker colors making it a little more difficult um, to see with the richness of color. So let's see if the color palette on the canvas and in the drills affects, you know, how the canvas printed out and looks. Does that make sense? It made sense to me. All right, this is a big one, you guys, a 50 by 60. So I'm getting as much of it on the on the camera here as I can with the, you know, I got kind of a limited space here, guys. Uh, let me zoom you up a little bit. We're moving. We're moving. There we go. Um, gives you a little bit more of a view, but here he is, our predator. It's very interesting. It looks like we've got like kind of cool tones, almost as if he's split in half and he's got some warmer tones over here with a cool background and a warm background to kind of, you know, as a juxtaposition. We do have some color blocking through here, a little bit in here, some throughout here, which is interesting, but largely it looks like our predator here is going to be a little bit of a confetti monster. That's all right. Come at me, bro. Uh, and as usual, we do get the same kit. Oh, we get three pads of wax in here, though, you guys. I did say I'd let you know if I saw anything different. This one has three pads of wax instead of just two or one. So, uh, mistake or intentional? I do not know, but that's nice either way. We get our inventory sheet and our drill packet. So, when we take a look at the canvas... In the background, you know me. I want in the goodie bag. Greedy, greedy, mushy wants the goodies. And let's see what we have in here. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got stuff and things. We got stuff and things. So we do have a straw topper. This little, uh, little skeleton. I don't know what is this. <laughs> it's like a little, a little kind of black sheet ghost type of thing with, with a little green skeleton. It's really cute. It is a straw topper. Probably going to become a cover minder. And we get our friend Leatherface, also a straw topper. And a crock pog of this little, um, I've seen it. I know it's a cart. It's a cartoon thing, right? A cartoon horror movie. I don't remember what it's from, but I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments below. But what is it? What is going on with his mouth? Why does his mouth look... Okay, his mouth looks like maggots, and I don't do maggots. So okay, I'm going to put that down. Um, <laughs> That one was dicey. Uh, wow, okay. That's an interesting sticker. A little scary. I I don't know what to make of this. Does anybody... I'll, I'll be honest. I have no clue. Zero clues. Uh, anybody have an idea what who this is what movie please tell me I don't know and then we've got Raven Diamond Arts company sticker there and we've got Chucky and we've got my horror hubby Mikey there we go and let's see ever play skin the cat that's what, what the quote on here is we've got Freddy that's not very nice, Freddy. Don't threaten to skin cats. How rude. How rude. So let me put these away and then we'll talk about the rest of this canvas. Okay, so those were our goodies. And this little mesh bag was a purple 
spider web and spiders with a black background. So I, you guys know me, I love these bags. All right, and so let's take a look at our inventory sheet before we dive into the canvas and such. It looks like we will be getting the same type of inventory sheet. Here is our thumbnail. It's a very nice large size for log books or sticker books or whatever it is that you want to make of it. But here is our art and what it should look like when he's done. Formidable. And then here is our color list slash table. I'm going to take a look here. Get an idea of what symbols and letters and colors we'll be playing with when we do this diamond painting. And we'll get, we're going to get to the bottom and see AB996 and AB3766. So there are two ABs in here and they look to be of the pl the blue. They look to be of the blue palette. So let's take a look, see, at our, I see them here. I'll go ahead and take them out. Although Mushy runs the risk of making a big, huge mess. That's okay. I'll risk it for you guys. All right. So let's take a look and see what our two AB, ABs are. Quite a few of them in this bag. Yeah, 9.45. Uh, and this is 1.95. So quite a bit of this lighter, almost like a medium sky blue. And this is kind of an average medium blue. Those are our ABs. What symbols were those? Little um, bug head and a question mark. So we'll look for the bug head and the question mark on the canvas as we go through. Something tells me maybe background or maybe the uh, cool toned side of our predator here. And since we let me put these in right, put them in right, mushy. <laughs> We get these put away right and then we'll take a look and see if we can locate them on the canvas um, and kind of get an idea. Uh-oh, did I boo-boo? No, I didn't. Surprise. Thought I did. And put these away and take a look and see. Let's look at our color palette first and then we'll find our ABs on the canvas. So. Got a little bit red here. You can see some blues here, but we're, we can really get a look is this side. There are our ABs. We're in here and we have some browns and blues. We've got grays, purples, oranges, um, peach slash pink. Over in here, some more blue. We've got some deep red, some, or some more orange and blue gray. So this seems to be heavily like in the orangey red category and um, a variety of blues with a smattering of browns and grays in the background which makes sense for what we're seeing here and this was a 40 color canvas so let's take a look at our drill field um, as usual I can already tell that this is going to be a very clear canvas my only real concerns are going to be you know some of these darker symbols on the darker background, the nine and the uh, curly Q there. Um, but we'll see what happens when we get a light board under it. But I would, you know, those always make me nervous. These crescent moons here, up in here, kind of make me a little nervous. But what did I say we're looking for? We're looking for bug head and question mark. I see a bunch of question marks sprinkled all throughout the background look they're all back here so there are some question marks there if i see a bug head i'll shout there's one here where am i there bug heads right here so there's some more of the other though it seems to be less predominant it is sprinkled in here too so yes this background looks like it's going to be heavily a bead are we going to get any on our predator Yes, here are the question marks. So there's going to be some ABs here in the question mark variety, which I believe is the bigger fuller bag. I do see just kind of a random, here's a random bug head right here. So we're going to kind of get them sprinkled out randomly through here, I suppose. There's some, some question marks over in here. But it looked like the, the large amount of 
uh, ABs was the background on the cool tone side. Here's some bug heads right here, just a couple, a couple little accents. There's some more question marks here with a random uh, bug head here, some bug heads down here, um, some down on the side. So it looks like our bug head, uh, a, our Bughead AB drill was is going to be more used as a, a pop and an accent. And then the question mark AB drill, both of them blue, by the way, but just different shades, is going to be used heavily throughout the background here and here. And in our, our Predator, it's going to be an accent also. So there it is, you guys. The final look at a future release of an AB kit from Raven Diamond Art featuring a Predator. Yay! Oh, love some of our horror icons and I can't tell yet, you know, it is hard to find a Predator diamond painting. So super excited to have this super unique piece. And when we do him, he is going to be on the wall of horror fame for sure. Let me clean this up and we'll come back for a wrap up. So there you have it guys, we have finished our haul, our four diamond paintings, two of which were a purchase of my daughter, the history, and the face off, and then the other two were a gift from Raven, thank you Mama Raven, uh, especially for the jigsaw and the sneak peek. Um, really excited to be able to show everyone that predator how unique is that thank you for thinking of us and sending that over much appreciated but yes you guys here is a final look at our haul what did you think of the canvases that we got what did you think of the a b have you guys been getting your hands on the raven diamond art a b kits and what do you think of them so who knows when we'll see this predator but exciting, you guys got to see it first. Yay! Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you been working on Raven Diamond Art AB kits? And what do you think of them? And uh, if not, are you excited to get your hands on them? All right, you guys. Well, thanks for coming and seeing what I got. I hope you saw something you like. Go check out Raven Diamond Art. Everything will be linked down in the description below. A link to their site and any of these canvases if they're available still. You got to be quick over there because they do sell out quick. So if you see something you like, don't hesitate. Don't think twice. Just click that button and... um. My advice is have your your payment information stored on your phone so it's kind of one of those one-click shops. Otherwise, you might miss out. It's happened to us a couple times. Otherwise, um, have fun, you guys. Friday, 10 a.m. CST or when the new releases drop. And I can't wait to see what you get from Raven Diamond Art. All right, you guys. See you next time. Stay naughty.